everybody. This is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to be doing introducing you to the JUICE framework. Now, some of you may be asking, what exactly is the JUICE framework? Well, the JUICE framework was started by a programmer named Julian Storer, um, and it is a framework. A framework is a set of libraries and functions that are built on top of a language, in this case, C++. And the JUICE library is, or the JUICE framework, is used to build a lot of today's VST plugins and audio applications. Uh, it's used in a lot of commercial software. And um, so yeah, it's a good thing to know. And um, I'm trying to get to know it now. And as I'm getting to know it, I'm developing these videos to help you get to know it as well. So uh, before I start, I should mention a uh, great book that's been a good source of information for me to start these videos. Um, and I think it could be helpful for you. I'll link it below. Um, the book is called Getting Started with Juice, and it's by an author named uh, Martin Robinson. So uh, what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is we're just going to do a basic going to the Juice page, downloading the Juice framework, um, going through what the Juicer directory looks like, what some of the files look like, um, opening a project, opening one of the demo projects, just having a little run through it, and um, that's going to be it. Okay, so um, if we go to uh, juice, that's J U C E dot com, okay, what you do is you just click on this link that says get juice, okay, and then presents you with a couple of these options here. Okay, I've chosen the education option. Uh, I'm a student going to Goldsmiths, going into my third year at Goldsmiths. Um, so I've got the education option. Um, but you choose the one that's applicable to you, and you download it. Okay, and you can see here are some of the um, companies that are using Juice at the moment. Cycling74, they make Max MSP programming language, UVI. Uh, Korg, M Music, and uh, X for Records. Uh, that's Dead Mouse's label. Uh, so if you use Serum or anything like that, uh, probably built with Juice. Okay. So once you've downloaded the, once you've downloaded Juice, uh, you'll get a folder like this. Okay. Um, I've already installed it, but I'm going to do it again here just for, uh, just to show you how I've done it here. So what we'll do, uh, I'm on a Mac. Obviously, it's a little bit different for PC. Um, go to your applications folder and now what I'll do is I'll just take this juice folder and I will drag it into my applications okay so now I'm gonna double click in here you see a couple different things uh, I'm gonna click on this one that says producer that's the application itself okay and then you're presented with these different options I'm just gonna cancel this for now and what we're going to do is we're just going to open an example project, okay? Just to get the hang of the way this thing works. So, what this done, what what this has done is this has taken us into the folder that we were just in, that that juice folder that we threw in the applications, um, the, the applications folder. Um, now we're in examples, and I'm just going to click on this one that says demo, okay? Uh, now we're just going to take a couple minutes just to talk about what to expect in a juice juicer directory. Um, so the first one we have here is builds, okay, and we have a couple different platforms here. So one of the great things about the juice framework that um, that really makes it appealing to uh, developers is that you can develop your code once and then it's able to be used across multiple platforms. So you just develop it once, it can go uh, to Mac, PC, or mobile. Okay, that's the idea behind it. Um, so here, if we look in our Mac OS X uh, folder here, we can see that you have your Xcode project folder here, okay, for Xcode. Um, I'm going to assume that you know what Xcode is and that you have some sort of C++ experience. Next is the .juicer file. Okay, that is the actual producer um, 
file that we are going to double click on in just a moment. Uh, next we have juice library code. Okay, so this is like all of your libraries that you need to call on if you need to. Okay, I, I, I would assume that that would be kind of like your add-ons folder in um, if you've ever used like Open Frameworks. Um, then we have resources. Um, resources looks to me like the data folder that you would see like in your Xcode project. So we have a cello.wave, which would be like a sample that um, you would have uh, in a, uh, a sample, a, a sampler in one of the demo files, uh, some of the PNG files, so on and so forth. Then you have your source code, which is your actual kind of Xcode files. Um, so you got main CPP, so on and so forth. Okay, so for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this juice demo dot juicer. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that. And now it's taking me to this screen. Okay, so just to do a rundown of what this actually is. So think of the framework as a place where it organizes your files. So you basically have to have all your files in this one place so it can do what it needs to do to uh, export them to these multiple platforms. And this is the place where you would have these files, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do is, if I go here and I say save and open in IDE, what that's gonna do is that's gonna open this project in Xcode. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that quick, okay? So saving, it's doing its thing. Okay, it's opening Xcode. And one of these days it'll open. Okay. So here we are. We're in Xcode now. Okay. So if I just click on this drop down menu here at the top left, and we go into Juice Demo and then Source Code, and then you have your main. .cpp, main window .cpp, so on and so forth, okay? But for now, what we're gonna do, since this is just an example patch, an example project, rather, uh, I'm just gonna click Build, okay? So this is designed, um, I've already taken a look at this. Uh, this this um, project is designed to show us some of the capabilities of Juice, okay? So this is what it presents us with, okay? So um, I'm going to just go through a couple of these, click on them. So if you have tabs and widgets, um, so if you were like building a synthesizer um, and you wanted multiple tabs for different functions, um, these are some quick functions that you would be able to import into your project quite quickly. Okay, so I've got like a pop-up menu, I've got some bu different buttons. Okay, different buttons here. We can change the colors of them. Okay. So, um, so that's that's some of that stuff. Okay, so we got some animation stuff that you can do. Okay. Um, what else do we got? Look and feel. So this is quite cool. I thought this was cool, especially as we're building audio plugins. Um, you can change the look and the feel of your different um, of your different buttons and sliders. Okay, so that is very cool. Okay, I'm looking forward to using those. You have multi-touch. Um, drag here with as many fingers as you have. Okay, so we only have one because we're using the mouse. And look at that. Nice. Okay got transforms here very cool okay show windows wow that's nice close windows so these are just a couple of the built-in things that uh, you can call in juice um, so you have all these different fonts that you can use um, wow amazing look at that Okay, then you got 2D graphics in the background. Do like different textures. 
man. Um, got video playback if you want to do that. Um, got synthesizers. Okay, so you can get this. The idea behind these things is that you can get it up and running quite quickly. So uh, you could use a sample sound, which I'm going to assume is going to be the cello. Got latency detector, um, which will detect the latency between when I click this button and when it actually comes out. So it's doing the test. Um, yeah, so might be a little bit confusing because I'm recording at the moment, so we won't do that. Um, so yeah, so this is just a, um, a demo patch showing you some of the capabilities of Juice. Um, just going to open a, uh, a Juice project ourselves. Okay, I'm just going to do this on the fly right quick. So what we'll do is we'll just close all this, close project. Okay, so now we'll do new project. Okay, um, so we're just going to do a GUI application. Okay, we're just going to call this test. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my development folder. Target platform is Xcode because I'm on Mac. I'm going to just hit create. Cool. So here I am. Uh, don't really have much here. So we got our main, uh, our main.cpp and the, uh, which is, um, the these are the essential um, files that we need just to start up the. Um, the Juice Framework. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save and open an IDE. Okay, so we're just going to do that quick. Great, so here we are in test. Then if I just go down here to my source file, so this is kind of like a little Hello world here. So if we just look at this, uh, this code here. So let's just build it, see what it looks like at the moment. We'll just do a couple little modifications just to, um, just to show that the code's actually working here. Compiling, compiling. days it shall succeed okay so it's taking a minute to think and there we go okay there it is hello world nice so it's white just a little just a little text okay so now we're just gonna modify the text here a little bit let's just make this instead of 16 we'll make this 50 okay um, so if we go to set color here, let's just see what colors that we actually have available to us. Maybe if we click here, colors. Okay. Um, so if you didn't know how to do, how I did that, okay, let's just command and click on colors there. Okay. And that just brings us into the colors class and look at all these colors that we have available to us. Okay, cool. Let's try lime green. Okay. So we're just going to go here. And there we are. Okay. So now I'm just going to change this. We are your programmer. Okay. Now I'm just going to command R, which is compile and run let's just see what happens there it is the audio programmer great so uh, so that's just a little rundown of um, just how to get your first um, juice application uh, juice project rather up and running and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video learned a bit um, be sure to give a comment down below or like and um, I'll see you soon with another video